Instagrammers, Facebookers, YouTubers, and all of you with a social media platform or electronic device that I'm not even aware it exists yet. What is going on? What is going on, man? So today, today I was, I was about to practice guitar and I thought, you know, I can't practice guitar without making this video. Why is that relevant? Why is my practice relevant? Because I think that if you wanna learn to be successful at picking up a new skill, such as guitar, singing, playing another instrument, whatever you wanna call it, you have to have the right mindset first. And yes, it's my opinion, and you are entitled to your own opinion, and you have the right to go with your opinion. But if your opinion has gotten you nowhere, then my perspective in this situation can probably help you out. And if you are in for the right, I'm gonna be talking about what makes a musician great. And to be honest, it's probably the complete opposite of what you think. What is going on? My name is Kevin and I help rockers and musicians unlock their ultimate creative power. Now, let's get right into this. What makes musicians great is not just the skill, but the fact that they take care of their health and their commitment to their craft. I know that looks like a, you know, no-brainer or, you know, you're probably surprised if you've never heard about this, but if you don't have these two things locked in place, in my opinion, then perhaps you won't be as successful as you could be, and here is why. So when it comes to taking care of your health, you know, essentially it comes down to your nutrition and your exercise. For your nutrition, I would say it is recommended to have a balanced a balance way of eating. So it comes down to like 27% protein, 27 to 30% fats, and um, the rest of a 30 something percent um, you should have your carbs in there. You know, your carbs are important, they do give you energy, and uh, most importantly, it is great to maintain whole foods in there. Now, with whole foods, what's good about it, it's the fact that they don't have any extra spices that you don't need, they don't have any other um, chemicals in there that you don't need, because all of that, all of those, of extra spices, extra you know chemicals, um, all of that extra stuff that is found on foods that are processed, what happens is they end up being too much for your body to digest. In turn, it's going to take more of your energy and it's going to make you feel uh, drained, like you want to sleep, rest, and then you pretty much don't want to do anything. It's like it's like this. It's like if you go to a fast food restaurant, or you know, all of a sudden you go to a uh, you know, let's say you go out and then you have it like a big burger, right? Or uh, something that just has a lot of a lot of fat in it. Essentially, you know, you're hungry, you devour the damn thing like there's no tomorrow. And then after you're done digesting it, you end up feeling worn out, and all your energy is is pretty much gone, right? And what happened to that energy that you know that you had, or that you wanted to gain after you? had your food. That energy went into digesting everything that you ate. Now, for exercise. Exercise is also another big important thing because with exercise, you know, obviously you're not able to lose unwanted weight or unwanted calories that you, that you don't need, but in turn, increases uh, increases your mental health, increases your, um, increases your energy, right? It's something that is very, very essential for your body. And for this example, we are gonna look at Joan Jett. If you are a musician or if you wanna be a musician, you, I would suggest incorporating these things into your life because you know, you're, you're gonna be constantly creating art. You're gonna be performing, you're gonna be writing. So your body and your mental health, they need to be in the best state as possible and Joan Chet herself she's even an advocate for uh, you know for being a vegetarian you know vegetarian is a very healthy lifestyle with a lot of benefits you know she's also at the top of uh, at the top of her game 
you know, for her thinness is very important. You know, when she's up touring, I know whenever she has the chance, you know, she takes those 10 minutes and incorporates push-ups or an extra set of workout that may be able to work with her, right? Another example, we're gonna be taking into look at Jackie Vincent. If you don't know who Jackie Vincent is, he is the uh, lead guitarist for Cry Benham, as well as his solo projects, and was the uh, lead guitarist for Falling in Reverse. Now there is this clip of this interview where he talks about his most important aspect of his morning routine. Here it is. Plenty of time. Yeah, I just uh, I find a smoothie place. I make sure I get like my kale and my spinach and like <laughs> all my like all my veggies and yeah, stuff. Yeah, rock and roll. Yeah, and then. Um, then I'll find. I'll try and find a gym, and then I'll like get my workout in, and then I'll I like I make myself read at least fifty minutes every day, and okay. just like, spam spam, you know my my knowledge. Um, I'll say what I'm grateful for, and then I'll I'll meditate, and you know do everything I can to positively positively enforce my life. So it's kind of the opposite of what <laughs> some people might <laughs> expect. This what I like about this interview is the fact that he always says that he wants to get the most out of his day. He wants to be in the best mental state as possible for him to have a successful day. If you wake up and you program your mind right, then you are more likely to have more positive experiences throughout that day. And if you don't, then you will be, you will be in a stronger mental state to handle obstacles that may come your way. Number two, they commit to their craft. Now, I did post a video on this. If you have not, check it out. You know, check it out. I'll put a link in the description. It's called Why Motivation is Killing Your Progress. And that is exactly the concept in this video. You know, a lot of guys that are out there, you know, they don't rely in being motivated. Because, you know, when you are in this point in your life where, you know, where you've had a couple of good hits, where, um, you know, you have a couple of successful projects that have worked, you know, obviously you understand that really this stuff doesn't happen overnight. It's trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. And let me just say that if this artist, right, or these people were to put themselves in the state of, you know, I just can't write anything now, inspiration is not coming to me, then, you know, they're, honestly, they're gonna stay where they're at and they're not gonna be successful. A successful artist has to constantly challenge himself, right? As a musician, you know, you have to write and you have to play even when you don't feel like it. You have to practice in the times where you feel like you have to practice and you have to practice in the times where you feel like you don't have to practice. Because creativity in itself is a muscle, is a muscle that has to be that has to be worked on, is a muscle that needs to get, you know, that needs to get bigger, it needs to grow, and it is a state of mind that constantly has to be um, reignited. You know, there is one good saying that says, the only competition is yourself, don't try to be like somebody else, try to be like the better person than you were yesterday, or something like that. Essentially what it means is to be better than you were yesterday. So, if you practice this, I will guarantee you that you, your pieces will be better each day because you keep focusing on them, because you keep writing, because you keep putting yourself in a state that you are not satisfied, that you're always looking to step into the next level of your craft. For example of this is going to be Hellstorm. Easy Hell released a uh, journal entry earlier this year regarding the release of the anniversary edition of her of her band's debut album Hellstorm. And what I like about this journal entry is the fact that she highlights on the you know on the scroll that the band had to face. They had their mind on themselves the entire time because they knew that their goal was more important than any obstacle that they were facing right now. Let's take a look into the end. What a journey the last decade has been. I'm so proud to release this special 10th anniversary edition of our debut album. 
It feels like I've lived several lifetimes since then. So many milestones have been passed and so many dreams have come true. And we are still climbing. We are still outlasting and still so much in love with what we do. We fought to put out our debut. We fought to get it made. We fought to have it released. We fought for and against songs that were on the 60 plus song list. We lived through a fire, two earthquakes, a mudslide. Our original A and R getting fired and rooming with each other for 19 months at the Oakwood Apartments in Burbank, California. We were dirt poor and had to go to the dollar store for produce and food. I was constantly seeing repairs in all of our clothes, but through all of it, it was truly the best times. We were in it. We were doing it. This is what it takes to break a band. We had our mission statement. We were poised. This was everything we had dreamed of since we were kids. See, so you're motivated from that moment in time, but the rest of the line is, is commitment. That's where it's at. You got the value out of this, then check out Hidden Rock on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe for more cool content later on. And as always, I give you a lot of love from my side of my phone screen to yours. This is your life. Own it.